The FTC cracked down again. And Arbon is scrambling. What's up, Wave Makers? It's Mommy Tsunami here, and you are watching MLM News. Because I still don't have a good title for it. Before we jump into the news, I just want to say a quick thank you to Stephanie Grimm, a patron of mine who sent me these plugs from Australia. They're made of amethyst. They're beautiful. I got a similar pair of these off of Wish like years ago and they were glass, I think. So they were like chipping and stuff and I don't know. So these are actually like high quality and beautiful and I love them. Also, she sent me a card with a platypus on it. I thought that was really, really cute. Uh, <laughs> wrote me a nice letter. I, I just... Thank you, Stephanie. I love these. These are so fun. But anyway, let's jump into what the hell is going on right now in MLM land. This actually happened a little over a week ago, uh, so I know I'm a little late to talking about this, but the FTC sent another round of warning letters to some multi-level marketing companies for false income claims during the coronavirus outbreak and health claims as well. The Federal Trade Commission today announced it has sent six letters warning multi-level marketing companies, MLMs, to remove and address claims about their product's ability to treat or prevent coronavirus 2019 or about the earnings people who have recently lost income can make or both. This is the second set of warning letters to MLMs the FTC has announced as part of its ongoing efforts to protect consumers from COVID-19 scams. Yes, great job FTC for doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> the letters highlight specific claims made by the companies or their participants in social media posts and videos posted online, including claims made in Spanish. This is good news, because this means that they have in their MLM task force now, they have some bilingual people up in here. Nobody's safe anymore. The claims addressed in this letter include a Spanish language social media post prompting Vivri USA, which I've never heard of, but it said, take care of your health, your body, avoid many diseases, many viruses since this virus and many others are here to stay coronavirus influenza flu we should nourish ourselves our immune systems reinforce it with the best nutrition system in the world i know nothing about vivri it's probably another like it works arbon type well, health and wellness thing yeah really cute look saying that you can literally avoid diseases and viruses if you use their shit a social media post that said hashtag virus underscore corona that's a new one worried i've been boosting my immune system for several years with high quality Plexus supplements. You can too. Plexus provides excellent all natural supplements that truly work. Be sensible, not fearful. Scientifically formulated and doctor approved. Ask me. <sighs> Plexus is bad at this kind of shit, man. I feel like their distributors are some of the worst for making health claims. So it's really, really great to see that the FTC came out and specifically targeted Plexus for this. A video promoting the Juice Plus company that said, there are a lot of people out there who have lost income. You may want to build a side income, you know, make $500 a month, $1,000 a month or more. There's no ceiling on this. It's whatever you want it to be. What would you like this to do for you? Maybe it could cover one of your bills, like a car payment or enjoy more time and financial freedom. I can tell you those are both possible at the same time because I've been living that for the past eight years and it's wonderful to be able to offer that to other people. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with that statement for sure. I'm curious to see what Juice Plus's income disclosure statement says. Oh, look at that. They don't have one. Cute. I remember reading one of you guys said that with MLMs, the only time they have to provide an income disclosure statement is if they're publicly traded. I don't have a source for that, so I don't know how true it is. But the problem here still stands. There are a lot of MLMs that aren't publicly traded that still offer an income disclosure statement. So if they can do it, why can't all of them, you know? It's just a really big red flag. But what I wanted to do was just see like how much people are usually making a month on average uh, with Juice Plus and I don't have access to that information, it looks like. I mean, I didn't go digging too far for it just now, but either way, it should be an easy document to find and with Juice Plus, it seems as though it's not. I feel like the FTC really needs to require it of all MLMs though, you know? Anyway, okay, so here are the companies that actually received warning letters. So for both health and earnings, Isogenics and Juice Plus, are the two. Great to see Isogenics on this list because they're a really big one. As far as earning claims go, Melaleuca got a warning letter. Now, this is crazy to me too because Melaleuca especially likes to claim that they're not an MLM, but like this is literally an FTC article that blatantly states that they're an MLM because there's like training material that someone sent me one time of Melaleuca where they're like, we're not an MLM. It's like, okay, but you are. As far as health claims go, Longevity International Incorporated, 
Limited, Vivri USA, and Plexus Worldwide are the ones that received a letter about health claims. I mean, I feel like Plexus, like I've seen a lot of people talk about like financial freedom and shit with Plexus a lot. So who knows why they didn't receive an earnings claim also. But hey, at least the FTC is telling fucking Plexus that they need to stop with their false health claims. I guess that probably is the worst of what they do. In letters alleging unsubstantiated health claims, the FTC states that one or more of the efficacy claims made by the companies are unsubstantiated because they are not supported by scientific evidence and therefore violate the FTC Act. Currently, there's no scientific evidence that these or any products or services can prevent or treat COVID-19. In letters alleging unsubstantiated earnings claims, the FTC reminds the companies about what constitutes a false or misleading earnings claim that would violate the FTC Act. Sorry about my dogs. The letters refer the companies to the agency's guidelines for MLMs and remind them that they are responsible for the claims claims made by their participants and representatives. Yes. Remember last time we talked about this and I said, hey, other MLMs, maybe you should fucking shut this shit down real quick before the FTC <laughs> sends you guys a letter. So clearly these companies that received the second round, they thought they were good. They're just like, we're fine. No, you're not good. The FTC gonna get you. But yeah, when we see this kind of stuff happening, it, it's always really interesting to see the company kind of backpedal. But these companies will put out statements or like, do certain things to make sure that they hide these kind of business methods, which we will get into um, shortly with Arbon. But uh, before we do that, I just wanna go through what uh, the actual letters say from the FTC. So this one is from Isagenics. And it basically says the same stuff that it said in all the other warning letters, but um, the examples are ones that I would like to go through. An example of coronavirus prevention or treatment claims made by your business opportunity participants or representatives include in the fight against COVID-19, keep moving every day and eating healthy. Isogenic shakes boost your immunity by 500%. What the fuck? I feel like that's not even a metric that you can use. That's a big claim, honey boo boo. I feel like I've heard that you can't even boost immunity or something like that. Like something about an immunity boost is like sketchy and I don't remember exactly what it is. I'm sure someone will leave it in the comments. Some examples of earning claims made by your business opportunity participants or representatives include, the last one and a half months of this COVID-19 pandemic has made me even more grateful. We've been able to put our daughter through four years of college at MSU and give her a head start in her next chapter of her life with no college debt. It breaks my heart to see families struggling nutritionally and financially, especially when we have such an amazing and life-changing solution to help them on all fronts. Residual income is a game changer, and if you're just open to listening, it can change your family's life too. Yeah, welcome to America where college is unbelievably expensive. To be able to say like that they're putting their kid through college in America with their MLM income, like that, that is such a big earning claim. I did a deep dive on Isagenix and we do happen to know that um, this is not a usual amount of income that one can expect to receive from being part of Isagenix. So good, will you get a stimulus check? Would an extra $4,100 change your family lifestyle? Well, my firm is offering that and more. So who is this firm? Text Isagenix to a five digit SMS text number. We're calling it a firm now. Like what? That's what like all the Primerica people or like Forex traders and stuff like that, they refer to it as a firm, but now Isagenix is a firm, okay. And then the rest of this uh, letter just kind of goes through and says, hey, you're responsible for people saying this shit and you're breaking the law. You must immediately cease making all such claims. This is important to get out there too, because like if you are watching this and you know someone in Isagenix or any of these companies at all, these kind of claims, like there's not even an exact number on, you know, the one with the college. Just because you don't say I made this much money in one month doesn't mean that you're safe because this person didn't say that at all, but it's still illegal as far as the FTC Act goes. So if you see anyone in an MLM making any kind of income claim or health claim, anything like that, you can report it to the FTC. Um, and I always keep a link in my description below uh, about how to do that. It's very, very easy. There's just, you click a link and then you just tell them what you know and that's that. So if you see someone on your Facebook or anything like that, please report it to the FTC because obviously the FTC is cracking down on it. And this is a warning letter. If the FTC sent this to Isagenix and said, you must cease this immediately, 
and people still continue to do it, they're not gonna get another warning letter, you know? There's gonna be actual action taken. So this is very, very important that we all are actively doing this when we see it. Now, I'm not gonna read the whole entire one of the Plexus letter and the claims and stuff because it's a lot longer. Like, it, these posts are very much like, talking up the health claims. And it's kind of bullshit. Okay, but there's this one part. Okay, we could just go through this. By giving your immune system an energy upgrade, your immune system requires a ton of energy to fight the virus. Without enough energy, the virus wins and triggers runaway inflammation. So it's crucial to get your immune system the energy it needs. These can help above an image of four plexus worldwide products. Yeah, see that's like just quack science and a half right there. <laughs> Since when is your immune system using a different kind of energy that the rest of your body isn't using, you know? Like, what? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Another one says that the same probiotic strains and enzymes that are in a Plexus product are also being used to treat COVID-19 symptoms. This was all said next to an image stating a bunch of stuff about COVID patients and stuff like that. And I don't know what the source is that this person made this post about, but let's just say for example that this is scientific evidence. This is actually being used as a treatment against COVID, which the jury's out on that one. But the point is, is that Plexus specifically has not been scientifically proven to treat COVID. And that's what this person is suggesting. So again, if you see this shit, report it, please, please, please. Link is in my description. Okay, so we can move on here uh, to this really fun stuff I'm hearing about Arbon. He sent me this screenshot and I don't know if this is from a, like an old group chat of her, that she's still in for whatever reason. I, I don't know, but damn, let's go through this screenshot because it is beautiful. So this looks like it's uh, someone high up, maybe a high up upline or something like that, that sent this group message to her group. FYI from Gillian below, which actually, okay, before I do that, let me tell you who Gillian is because I looked this up. I think she might just be like one of Arbon's super success stories, but she's just like a high up distributor it looks like. But okay, FYI from Gillian below. I wanted to let your teams know going forward, nation call recordings will not be sent out. I will be sending to the USA managers if they cannot get on. Due to lots of MLM haters, I want to safeguard my business and yours and whoever is on training. Also, I'll ask that our teams are not recording boomerangs with sound that are posted on social media. Top leaders in Arbonne are unfortunately being targeted by a lot of hate and I don't want that to affect our team regarding team training recordings from now on. So basically what this means is that Arbon is saying, hey, we have all this training. Instead of making sure that we don't break FTC guidelines to the public, we're just gonna go super private with it so we can break all the guidelines we want and no one can report us. Okay, yeah, that's not being proactive at all, Arbon. They're literally not publishing anything because they're afraid of being judged and being called out by the anti-MLM community. It's like, well, we have a pretty good reason for doing so because you guys are breaking the fucking law. So there is that. Now this comes after the FTC sent Arbon a warning letter back in uh, April, I believe. We already went through all this in my last video where we talked about this, but Arbon got sent a warning letter. And so their response, instead of to be like, hey guys, Stop saying the shit you're saying. Stop being horrible people. Stop making false claims. Stop doing all the shit you're doing. Instead of holding people accountable for the shit they said and maybe, you know, terminating some accounts, getting rid of the people who make these kind of claims or, you know, they could retrain them. How about that? So that they are running their business properly. No, no, instead of doing that, Arbon's like, we're just gonna hide. It's not a cute look. So while I was looking through all this too, I found a website, uh, well, I mean, it, it's on Arbon. It's just success.arbon.com called Eye on Arbon. That's like where they put all their success stories and stuff like that. I find this, right? And I go and I click on the links, like there's links all over Google and shit. But when you click on them, this is the screen I see. We are updating EOAs and 
will be posting to the source again soon. EOA's is Eyes on Arbon. The source is, from what I gather, is their back office. So you have to be a member of Arbon to be able to see and read uh, any of these success stories. Unfortunately for Arbon, there's this thing called the Wayback Machine <laughs> where we can go and we can see what it is they're hiding right now. So I pulled up the Wayback Machine here. And actually, let me get a screen recording going. This is just so I can pair the audio easier. It's just, it's all for my quality of life here. <laughs> okay, so this is a screen capture from April 25th, 2018. So basically you'll just see there's all these people who have their own little success stories. So why would Arbon hide this? Well, it's probably most certainly because um, these success stories probably harbor a lot of false income claims. Probably not so much false health claims, but the income claims are a big, big thing. And this was on their website, on arbon.com. It was just like a branch off of it. If you scroll down here, it says need help finding an EOA, frequently asked questions. How do I find my friend's success story? Like this is just an archive of them making false income claims. <laughs> You get added to this website after you achieve the level of regional vice president, which I think is the second to highest tier because national vice president would be the highest, right? I'm not positive about that. And they do have a little thing down here that's like the testimonial in this EOA is for illustrative purposes only and does not represent income projections. Well, isn't that the point of having these though? A typical Arbon participant in Canada earned between 30 and $250 in 2017 in bonuses and commissions. $30, that's a typical participant. Now this is in Canada, fine, whatever. Why don't, okay, cause they have like all the different country flags and stuff, why is this Canada specific? Is it because the US is worse? Like, I don't know. They have all this stuff down here that says, you know, it's illegal for you guys to make these false claims and stuff. Like Arbon goes and puts all this shit out there but they're still trying to hide it, despite the fact that they know that this shit can be used against them. Little disclaimer isn't gonna keep people from using it to their advantage. So I think that's probably why Arbon is hiding this shit. I don't know, man, it's pretty sketchy, but that basically seems like that is what is going on on this website here that Arbon is trying to mute. So that's all very interesting. That's all I have to talk to you guys about today on this segment of MLM news. But before we get out of here, I just want to thank my beautiful, wonderful patrons. The biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Unknown System Error, MK, Michelle Matthews, Irene Nordeed, Amanda McMahon, Corey Allison, Karina Winman, Maria Burchett, Molly Wasilewski, Whitney Gregory, Katrina Rosemarick, Elizabeth Wyatt, Clark, Kimberly Taylor, Whitney James, Sarah Hennemuth, Jackie Wapel, Daniel Uri. Nina, Jenny Ruby, Oren, April Lindblom, Bobby, Ashley Nichols, Tuesday the 13th, Justin Kelsey, E. Higgins, Mir Family of Seven, Savannah Krakowskis, Maddie, Brianna Coulter, Boris Geller, Rachel McHenry, Desiree Lopez, Molly Bresson, Vandis Closet, Kim Cartwright, JP or Gino Schaefer, Maddie Darley, and Kelly Crefield, and the rest of my beautiful, wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for being here, for being you. Um, even if you're not a patron, I still appreciate you being here and watching this video to the end here. Thank you so much to every single one of you who have made it this far in this video. I don't think I have anything else to say. So <laughs> keep making waves, babes, and I will smell you guys later. Mommy Tsunami out.